Can a mid-handicap golfer use bladed irons out here on the golf course? Let's find out and let's do it now. A great strike. Oh, I'll tell you what, he hasn't. It's striking the ball nicely, it's playing well, it's going a long way. Hi everyone, James Robinson here, Income Mark. This is Mark, Hello. my mid-handicap tester. You may recognise Mark from loads of videos we've done now, haven't we? Yeah, done a few. If you have watched our Blade versus Game Improvement Club comparison on the range with dry ball data and the launch monitor, that's probably why you've come to watch this, because we pretty much concluded that with saying, well, we didn't really know, did we? We had to get out here on the golf course, so... So, we have the P790 and the P730. Again, we're out here on the golf course, Huddersfield Golf Club. It's pretty cold, but it's a nice day, so we're hoping Mark doesn't catch any thin ones with the blade. I'm hoping not. <laughs> um, we're going to play five holes, we're going to see the difference in ball flight, we're going to see the difference in distance, we're going to see the difference in everything, but we're not going to see dry ball data. This is purely a golf course test, and we're going to see which one comes out on top. Mark, before we start, do you think a mid handicapper can use bladed irons? From, from what I've seen so far, I think, yes, a mid-handicapper can use blades, um, but it's all down to what's your personal preference? Yeah. What do you feel more confident with actually playing, and, and how, do you, how can you use those different, different aspects of a blade against a cavity bag on the golf course? Might as well do it, anyway. Let's do it, and let's do it now. <laughs> now, I'm sure James suggested that buttering your toast with the blade was important. Okay guys, we're here on the seventh hole at Huddersfield Golf Club. Mark, here are some brand new Titleist Pro V1s for you. Thanks very much, so thank you. They're my gift to you. Try not to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Now, here's an interesting one. Which iron are you more, which iron are you happier with that you're not going to lose those golf balls? Blade or P790? As you know, I'm, I, I'm, I haven't hit the P790 particularly well and I'm not that confident with hitting it. So, either or, I would suspect that the P790 is probably going to be the safer option okay. for me to hit yep. it just because it's... Uh, it's more forgiving. Yeah, okay. But I'm happy to try out and see what happens. Right, first shot, let's do it. Okay, and let's do it now. Yes. <laughs> so, so we'll try the 790 first. Yep, and we um, are about 160 yards away. About 160 so. from, the, from the green. Uh, the, the tricky thing about this hole, of course, as you know, James, is that all the way down the right-hand side is out of bounds. Yeah. So it's, it's always a tricky hole to play a shot into from, from back here. Okay. Because of that out of bounds, it puts extra pressure on you. Extra pressure, that's just what we need. Let's do it. <laughs> What a strike! Well, that's gone out of bounds, hasn't it? No, we're in. Oh, see, hit the trees, just in. Did you hear that strike? <laughs> okay, Mark. Blade time. Okay. The distance was good as well, wasn't it? The distance was very distance good. Was yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. Very much. Good. Where's it going? I hooked it left. Big draw on that. That's, uh, that's on the eighth, eighth tee. Okay, guys, we're going to get down there. We're going to see where they are. Two pretty good swings, not terrible swings, anyway. Swings were good, yeah. 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 Okay, let's get down there and see where they are. So, just got down here, guys, and we've got the blade just there. And the P790, if we fast forward, here. So there, Mark, the P790 definitely closer to the green. Both definitely. of them, funnily enough, pin high. Yeah. How did they yeah. feel? Uh, they both felt fairly good. Uh, the, the 790 played nicely through the ball. I didn't have any, any difficulties with actually playing it at all. Um, but there was, there was little feedback from it. Yeah. Um, I could tell that I hit a good shot because I saw the ball flight. Yeah, both rather, sounded good. Rather than feeling it. Yeah. Uh, the blade certainly felt really nice 
playing through and I felt that I struck the ball. I mean, I wouldn't like specifically to discount the blade because of where the balls ended up. Yeah. Because I know that I, I held on to it a little bit more. Yeah. And, 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 and then the, and nature, the nature of the club being so unforgiving. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's made a difference. Maybe it hasn't. We, we don't know, do we? But, but if it's so unforgiving, but and yet it's it's sort of, sort of pin high. Yeah. Um, all right, it's going to be a tricky shot to go onto the green. Oh, absolutely, yeah, in no comparison doubt. to to where the 790 is. But that's no gimme up and down, is it? But that's no gimme, and that actually was almost out of bounds. Hit some more. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, Mark. Real interesting one. Now we are on the eighth hole, winter tee, so we're a little bit further forward. Playing about 140, it's about say, 140 to the flag. to the flag. Yeah. So seven iron. You're going to try and just play one a little bit. Maybe take a little bit off. I'm going to try. Do you think it's going to be easier with the blade or easier with the P790 more forgiving iron? Well, I have to I have to assume it's going to be better with the more forgiving iron. Mm -hmm. um, but but I know I know that I can handle uh, a sort of more forgiving irons mm -hmm. better. Uh, so so it should it should perhaps be more more easy to, to actually handle this one. Uh, the blade, I'm going to have to try and reduce my swing a bit. But only a only a fraction, perhaps. So it might only be a fraction difference with the blade. I'm thinking yeah. in my swing, whereas I'm going to have to concentrate on on reducing the swing with the 790. Okay, interesting. Let's so interesting to see what happens. Which one first, Mark? Well, let's go with the 790 again. Yeah. Okay. Four. Two's club. I'll give you another ball if you get one. But you've got to put out with the iron. All right. Okay. Fair enough. And that was just gone a long way, but I hit the mat. Yeah, didn't quite get all of it. Didn't get all of it because I was trying to slow my swing down. So this is an interesting one. I think you might be more comfortable with the blade playing yeah. it down. Obviously, it more loft yes. on there, so you yeah. can you can start to play shots with it a little bit yeah, differently. Perhaps, perhaps, That's a better shot. Again, I I, I hit the mat, yeah. um, which took it took it left left. Um, but I hit the ball, yeah, and it, it went about strike, the right sort it? of length as well. So there, as a mid handicapper, Mark, is that a shot you're comfortable with? Sort of gripping down it trying and trying to, grip to play it down and play a shorter shot. I'm comfortable with, with attempting it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to I try and avoid it as much as possible. Yeah, but if I have to, I'm quite happy to, to try. Okay, and, and interesting there. We're going to get there and find out where those are. They've both just missed the green. It wasn't. They weren't your two best swings, no, they were weren't. they? they weren't. But it's going to be interesting to see which one's closest and which one gives you the best opportunity to make par. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Both very similar, actually. Yeah. Green here. Golf balls there and there okay so we've got up here now and actually the bladed iron is actually pin high and dispersion is close to the flag so yeah really yes. interesting one that maybe that's not something you would expect with the least forgiving iron no absolutely but absolutely. maybe the extra loft has helped you play around with that a little yeah, bit what maybe. would you what would you say mark absolutely um well for, for me just looking where where the two balls have ended up i mean the blade i hit to that point yes it was a good flight it went there that that's exactly where my, my line of swing put it. Mm. Whereas the 790 was a very scruffy shot. Yeah. Um, was quite low to the ground and to a certain extent was quite lucky to end up okay. here. Yeah. Uh, it could have ended up 50 yards further back, yeah. in actual fact. Yeah. Um, so and on, on the one a... hand, forgiving in that it did get to here, yeah. but it could easily have been another 50 yards further back. And on a launch monitor, they, they would have been completely different shots, wouldn't they? The numbers totally. would be completely yes. different, but as you can see, real world but, scenario, we've yeah. got two balls yeah. that actually are pretty, pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. should we Good. move on? Yeah. So that's one par three done. That was a short hole and we had to kind of really feel our way into the green. This is a longer one. This is 170 yards. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts with these two clubs in regards to how are you going to muscle them down there and get them to the green? I think that the, again, I think the cavity back is probably going to muscle itself yes. down there. Um, uh, uh, and as far as the, uh, the blade is concerned, is me, me just swinging nicely, I think is going to be good enough. I'm, I'm getting more confidence in the blade and, and how it flies. Okay. That I don't think trying to put more energy or try and make it faster swing or, or anything like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure that's strictly necessary. Okay. So uh, Which one should we go with first? We'll go with the blade first. Let's do it. Skinny, but that could work. Oh, 
just in the bunker. In the bunker. Yeah. Just in the bunker, but yes, a little bit skinny, as you say. Yeah. How are the fingers? Fine. I mean, a little bit of vibration, but just just vibration. P790. Same bunker. So Mark, two shots there, both in the same bunker, both similar ball flights. Similar ball flights, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Slightly thin the uh well, yeah, not thin as such, but I didn't didn't hit the blade well. Yeah. But it it's gone almost as far as, okay. as the cavity back has gone. Right. For me. So let's get down there and just see, see the damage. Yeah, see what's happened. So Mark, three shots in. What are your thoughts so far? Uh, I'm certainly enjoying playing the blade, testing yeah. it out. Uh, working with it, I'm really pleased at, mm. at, the, at the shots I've played and and, and the, where where the balls ended up. Yeah. Uh, I like it a lot. The 790, the cavity back, again, it's played very nicely. Yeah. Um, it just not much feedback. Not yeah. You know, it's a, it's a all right. I've hit that shot and it's gone gone nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, have, great. Have you noticed the difference in distance that maybe we saw in the dry ball data? No. No. I haven't. Not no. In the slightest. So on the golf course where it matters. We've not really seen a nope, not no, really seen a difference. No difference. Okay. So as we get down here, Mark, two golf balls, two shots, one blade, one cavity, but yep. same place. Same place. The blade is the is the nearer one, the one that's lying, lying on the flat of the bunker. Yeah. Whereas the 790 is just on not on not So slope it's gone a little bit that. further, little but bit that's further. down to the kick and yeah, the bounce. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Not that you'd ever put yourself here, but we've got an awkward lie in the rough. About 150 yards uphill. Yep. Which I need fancy in. I'm, I'm again. I'm probably going to the cavity back, but purely because I'm I'm confident knowing how to play those. Yeah. Um, I'd really like. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how I play the blade though. Out of a really awkward stance, you know. It's, it's I'm uphill, ball above my feet, out yeah. of the rough, bunker in front of the green. It's all going for you, isn't it? There's, there's a lot of trouble here. Which one should we go with first? I'll go with the 790 first. Perfect. So, from knee height. Yes, correct drop. Like it. Oof. Difficult, very difficult to get a start with all these grass, tufts of grass here. Difficult to play through the shot because of because of the, the angles here, there, but, but the, the ball's green. gone up okay. there nicely. Let's see what happens with the blade. Let's hope for a better bounce. See, illegal height drop. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, I'll tell you what. Wow, that's up there, isn't it? I hit the uh, uh, yeah blade didn't follow through because there was a big tuft of grass in yeah. front of me, but that ball went straight and isn't far off the green. So blades are unforgiving? Apparently not. Okay, guys, we've just got up here from the thick rough. We have the P790 ball just short, and Mark looks pretty excited. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> we've got a birdie putt. Come, on, Mark, I'm going to let you finish this one off with the blade. Flag's coming out, it means business. Aim point lessons are available. Fine, you can do it. Oh, I'll tell you what, he hasn't. Ah! <laughs> you only need a blade. <laughs> That is an up and down from 150 yards uphill in the thick rough. Yes. With which yeah. club? With a blade. With a blade, okay. <laughs> so, mid handicappers, can they use blades? They certainly can use certainly, blades. Certainly can. Let's have one more go. Let's see if Mark can score with a blade. Although you just have them there, to be fair, haven't you? I have. Let's, let's, play a, let's play a hole from about 160 yards. We're going to see how Mark scores and we're going to see how the initial tee shot actually makes him fair. Yeah. How far, Mark? 215. Is it? Oh, let's sneak forward a bit. <laughs> I don't know, I like it here. I think I'm going to overhit a 7 iron from here. Do you? I don't know. Yeah, I'll 
I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't try. Wouldn't be hitting a seven iron on here. Anyway. Should we go back there then? Because I'd be back. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to try from back there. Okay, yeah. Brilliant. How far, Mark? It's two one five. So two one five. Downhill. 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 We're going to be relying on a little bit of roll. Bit of roll through through there from the seven irons. Yes. Yeah, see uh, see how they go. Okay. So again. Depends how much stop there is on the, how much spin there is on the ball. Yeah. Trying to uh, reduce spin would help okay. with this shot. But, uh, so you think the P790 would offer you a little bit more distance, maybe? Um. Yes, it Should probably land would harder because of the kick. loft. I mean, yeah. the loft difference. So it's it's going to have less ought to have less spin on it. Okay. As Perfect. a matter of course. So, so this is this is the last one, Mark. So let's see two of your best golf swings, please. Let's see what happens. So we'll go to the 790 first. Perfect. Another good drop, that mark. Really good drop. If you've got short legs, then the <laughs> knee is much closer to the ground, isn't it? Oh, short shins. Short shins. Yeah. That's not easy to say. <laughs> this, is, this could work, couldn't it? This could. Very good. I think that's possibly on, probably on the green. I mean, I thinned it a little bit. Is it bad that the slight perverse aspect of me wanted him to hit that shot with the blade and get the tingly fingers, maybe? <laughs> He's mean, isn't he? Real mean. It's cold now as well, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. This is going to go well. This is a nice, really nice shot. Good. Shot, but I pulled it in left. Yeah, and the distance is a much shorter. Yeah. Shot. So, guys, that's the last shot we're going to hit with. Well, we're going to hit, Mark. They're the last shots you're going to hit with the P790 and the P730 Blade versus Forgiving Club. Before we get down there and try and finish this hole off, in fact, you've not lost a golf ball today, so I well done. I Three Pro V1s, all yours. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on the clubs? I like both clubs. Playing them has been great. Uh, the, the difference between them, a cavity back and a blade, I've not noticed much difference between distance. I mean, certainly I think on this hole uh, it'll be noticeable, um, but that's mainly because you know it's a huge 215 yard distance, and I definitely thinned the the, the cavity back, yeah. so it will have gone further. Um, but apart from that, the distances distances have been about the same for me. There's yeah. not not really much difference from them. So we open the video with. Can a mid handicapper use a bladed iron? What would you say? Yes, absolutely. I, absolutely I, can. They could. I think we're we're hopefully going to get maybe one more video out of this series. We're going to do Mark a club fit because you're in the market for some new yeah, clubs anyway, yeah, Mark, aren't definitely. you? So we're going to look at different clubs. We're going to see how high up the baggy can go blade, and also how low down the baggy would want to go cavity back forgiving yes, club. Yeah, Split certainly. sets are pretty much something of the future, aren't they? So they, maybe they uh, let's see where we can go with yeah, that, Mark. Yeah, certainly. We're going to finish there. We're going to obviously finish the whole. And see if we can make any more more birdies but uh, <laughs> thank you so much Cheers. really Thanks appreciate your time Thanks as always James. if you've enjoyed that video guys make sure you put that thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button hit the little notification tab and that will tell you whenever i upload new content don't just follow mark on twitter make sure you follow me my twitter link is up there and i am also on instagram so check that out too see you soon Very good. I'll give you that, Mark. Thank you. In fact, Mark, send us away. See you soon, everybody.